out here to solely test the Apco pod that I just bought. I'm super excited about it because I hear it gets really cold here in Korea and I've never seen anyone fly the Apco pod except on YouTube and there's barely any videos about it. So I was like, you know what? It's gonna be cold. I wanna see how this thing works. So I bought one and I put it on early this morning. It was too foggy to fly. So I had to leave. Now I'm back here at 1 p.m. doing a little midday flight, but we're gonna go test this guy out. Right now it's uh, magnetized up here, see? And it'll come out just like this in flight. Um, unfortunately, like you're supposed to do according to the video, I wasn't able to hang test and everything. Uh, not really the way to go about it, but um, the nice part is you can still launch uh, with it wrong. Um, it just, it makes sense, you just can. And if it's not good in flight, I just won't use it. Um, and then I'll adjust it on the ground, maybe get a hang test later, but I'm hoping that I can just adjust it in flight. I'm pretty excited to try it out. I got work at 15.30, it's almost 1300 now, so I'm gonna squeeze a little flight in. Let's go test this guy out. I'm gonna show you how I climb into this bad boy. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. So I have it, there's a magnet that connects here to the chest strap for launch and landing. But when I get in it initially, I open up the magnets on the bottom and shimmy my way in, like so. And kind of work it up my knees so I can get low enough to uh, get a shoulder strap on. And then get up best way possible in a paramotor like any other. Really, I let this guy dangle while I get my leg straps on. I have so much stuff around my neck right now that when I look down, it's like strangling me. Anyone else ever get that feeling? Now I'm working the chest strap on. So now, come down here, zip this guy up. There's a little clip that keeps the zipper from unzipping. Pull it up. Bring the magnet to the chest mount magnet and clip it. And I make everything more difficult because I have a front mount reserve. <laughs> I am all ready to start the motor. It's already warmed up. Woo! Love the winter time, baby! Yeah! Uh, uh, uh. I will say I do like these gin gloves for being thicker but you can still freaking operate your fingers. Oh yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff, mate. Woo! It's cold. All right, you guys want to see me get in this pod think of a jig? So, unmagnetize it. I like to throw it out to one side and so that I can get my right foot in it. Opposite side I'm throwing out and we're in it! Woohoo! My legs are not feeling any wind now. And I just gotta straighten it out so that it's not flapping about. It's just really where I position my uh, feet inside of it. Oh, uh, I realize what's going on here. My whole strap came undone on one side of the inside of the pod. What I was talking about with the pod in flight is this guy came unstrapped and uh, as you can see it goes all the way to the seat board down there and there's one on this side as well but so it just completely came out so I'm gonna put a stop on this end of it so it can't slide out and if it does go all the way to the end right here I can just tighten that in flight. It wasn't an issue. I was able to actually find this way down in here in flight and put it through there. So I usually keep it on this third uh, horizontal line or in the middle and it does, does me pretty good. Cruise control on. See the strap? I guess it's not long enough to go into the prop so that's good. Might have to come off on the glove real quick. It's gonna be code. I don't even know how this came undone. It must have. I could have strapped it in reverse, really. I'll show you what I'm doing. This is not supposed to be an in flight fix. But 
That is why the pod was slapping. Ah, crisis averted, guys. Crisis averted. Thank you, cruise control and stuff and things. Yeah, this is so much better with the pod. It doesn't feel as loose because I got that strap back on. And I'll show you how I prepare for landing with the pod. Once again, I hope I'm angling this down enough. So you can't see what's going on, but I just slipped one of my feet out of the magnetized bottom. And so then I'll try to prop up the edge of the pod with that one that's out. And then I pop my other one out. And boom. And now, because I have a front mount reserve, it just makes this a lot harder. I don't recommend it, but it's doable. So now I lift the reserve and magnetize it to my chest strap and boom we're done and if you didn't have a front mount life would be a lot easier now my legs are free but i'm really liking the pot so far nice wind though look at that Man, I didn't even turn on these gloves, and my hands feel great. I'm excited about that because these are really, you can really move these ones. And uh, they were made by Jen for that reason, obviously, because they're a percolating company. So they tried to make this, uh, make your hands more mobile and make sure the filament was uh, less likely to break with all the motions. And I didn't even turn on the heating element, and it felt great. Yesterday, my fingertips did get cold, but it was like 18 degrees when I was flying. Um, and my hands kind of sweat a little bit, so that might have been why they got cold, but I'm liking them so far. Actually fits in the van just fine still. I take the D-ring from the seat and still just do it on one side now, because as you can see, part of the pod is uh, tied to the D-ring, but it's slack enough that I can still use it. And I can still shut my door and everything, but this isn't one of those things that you put on and take off every time because I mean you could but you have about five different knots you'd need to tie and then two straps on each side so it would get to be a pain if you took it on and off so I just leave it on and since it's winter I basically need it every flight so I'm gonna conduct the last part of this review Todd's gonna get some film of me swinging by down low while he waits on some stuff to cure on his paramotor so Let's get it started. Oh, hey car. And we're in the harness. Come back around down low. Into pod. <laughs> All right, cool. I'll come back. I'll swing back around and uh, try to hop out of the harness down low as well. Popping out's the harder part. You know, I'm still new to it. I'm, I'm getting used to it. It just is a matter of putting the foot. One foot getting out is easy, and then using that foot that's out to completely get out is the trick that I'm still working on. Put the other foot there. Get that out. And. We got it. Sank a little bit, but it works. Ew. Pod flyby. Please don't have an engine out. That would be bad. <laughs> All right. I'll land so Todd can conduct his business. But yeah, I like the pod. It's, uh, 
I'm gonna get used to getting in and out of it, but the most important thing for me now is uh, that it keeps my legs warm. And I really like that. And I can put my hands in there and cut off the airflow. Keep those warm as well. 